Hi, hi, hi everyone. So today what we're going to be doing is the timeless question of why are they ignoring you? So we're going to go into the person you're thinking of thinking about energy and see what's actually going on with them and why they are ignoring you. Deck number one, deck number two, pick the deck you are most drawn to. And as you pick that deck, what we're going to do is work on the mutual energy between you all. So everyone that picked deck number one, Deck number one, can't get my words out. We're working with all of you um, and your people. So think about your person for me as I get into your energy and the people you're thinking about. Energy. How many times can I say energy in one in one sentence? And let's do thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Here we go again. Energy. And let's find out why are they ignoring you? Let's see what's going on. So why is the person you're thinking about ignoring you. Okay. Here we go, get that one. So often when we start reading tarot, the cards will tell us what they want us to know by giving a good old shuffle. And the way that these cards are jumping out from this, your person is working on quite sporadic behaviour. They're not really planning um, to ignore you. They, they haven't got a great plan that they're, they're not texting you back, that they're not communicating with you, that they're ignoring you. It's not part of a massive plan. It's a bit of a sporadic energy of, um, I'm just gonna go with what happens, see where we go, see what happens. Um, they're not planning on ignoring you they're not realizing how much they're upsetting you by ignoring you um and it's just a general feeling over here of i like my space i like my freedom um, and i'm finding this energy a bit too intense at the moment so they are worrying that because you're feeling a little bit heavy and perhaps that you are wanting them to give you everything that you need they're feeling quite burdened by the situation and they're feeling quite a lot of pressure from it so at the start, when you two were communicating, your person was probably a little bit um, full on, gave you a quite kind of love bombed you, gave you a lot of love, affections, emotions, and, and they were feeling quite lonely at that point in time. And there's been a switch in that energy and the switch is that they've been feeling overwhelmed from the situation. So they've kind of cut you off at present and really focusing on themselves and what they want in their life. We have the nine of pentacles, which really symbolizes this kind of I'm single, I'm independent, I'm on my own, I'm free. And that your person really does like that sense of freedom. Now, with the connection with you, we've got the knight of swords and the queen of swords coming forward. It is this kind of, I'm going to be cutting you off. They're very much in their mind over it all, with it being swords energy. So the mind is really navigating the situation. Their emotions are, are into you. The emotions are pulling them towards you. But their mind is really, really ticking that perhaps they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed from the situation. So let's see what's caused that, other than um, feeling overwhelmed. So what's caused them to feel overwhelmed? So yeah, so they've been feeling trapped over it all. They're feeling like it's been a lot. That's what they're feeling like. It, they, they're feeling it's been a lot that they perhaps they've given up working for you. Whereas at the start they were working for you. Um, and now it's kind of like you're texting them, you're communicating with them and they aren't responding. It hasn't been great. It hasn't been a great mastermind plan that you are obviously really upset with the situation and them ignoring you. Um, they really are feeling stuck from it all. Um, they will reply to you, they will reply to you, but it's going to be on their time rather than on your time. Um, but the reason why they're ignoring you is because they're feeling overwhelmed from the situation. Now, that is quite a quick reading, all these cards indicating that that information. That is quite a quick reading. So let's go a little bit deeper um, and let's find out what the future is going to be of them ignoring you. What is the future of them ignoring you? Are they going to speak again? Are they going to come back? Okay, so you might find that your person um, has a bit of a guard up when they do come back. You will hear from them again. You will speak to them again, but there is definitely delays in that, um, delays in the communication. It will come forward in the end, but for now, they're saying that there will be a bit of a delay. So if you're expecting them to reach out to you right kind of now, you're probably going to notice that it's going to be a couple of weeks away before you do speak to them again. 
but they will communicate with you they will come back towards you and we have the celebration kind of coming up at the end with that but first it's the sense of you're going to be feeling a little bit lost over the connection it's like you know it's kind of that that give them the freedom for them to kind of come back to you you know that feeling um sometimes it takes people going out into the big wide world to realize what was in front of their face the whole time and that's what your person has got to do and the way that they're, they're going to do that is by you kind of going ghost on them a bit like they've gone ghost on you so go quiet don't text them don't call them let them do the work and let them communicate with you and that will be what brings them back towards you that feeling if they're feeling overwhelmed because there's been a lot of communication or overwhelmed because you've been telling them about your emotions which isn't a bad thing but your person's took it as a this is too much i feel really intense i feel backed into a corner if they're feeling like that you go the other way let them have that freedom let them have that space that they want and they will soon miss you messaging them and that will bring them back towards you but the queen of pentacles over here kind of copying the reading like right at the start of it all and um, which is the stability and security for you guys and um, there is potential over here but it's just it is a bit of playing silly buggers really your person isn't acting very mature in fact they're acting very immature um and they're not communicating with you their feelings they've gone up into their mind about it all had a panic had a freak out for oh my god it's too much it's too much I'm gonna back away but if you back away as well, that is what can bring the situation around. And that is why your person is ignoring you. It isn't anything you've done. It isn't anything um, about you or communicating. It is literally on them that they are feeling overwhelmed from it and taking a step back from it. And that's step number one. In fact, let me just pull you an oracle card um, about your future with them. Let's see what comes up. Let's step away from the heavy energy of ignoring to the future energy fire okay fire energy kind of coming through fire is the energy of creativity um it works a lot with the womb center so womb magic etc etc so if you are going off on a bit of a druid rant um but we work a lot with womb energy as part of our creation because the womb is a space to give birth to life so with fire energy coming up over here you are the keeper of your destiny you can manifest it would recommend you wear a lot of the color orange and um, you could also get some um can't think of the name the carnelian is quite a good crystal for you to be using at this point in time this can bring in the new for you using that creativity so where it's a bit blocked or a bit stagnant that can help shift things forward that's step number one so you will hear from them again they're just playing silly buggers and that <laughs> that's step number one they're just overwhelmed okay let's do deck number two so let's see what's going on Flip that one round. The cards are boxed. Okay. So if you just tap the intuition, turn on, what we're doing is why are they ignoring you? So we're going into the inner workings of the person you're thinking about, into their energy, into their mind, and we're seeing what is going on. Why are they acting? Silly buggers. Okay. So it's a bit of a heavier reading today, so just be aware of that. And if you do feel a little bit triggered at any point, just take a step back and go get yourself a glass of water or salt or sugar. Why are they ignoring you? Two, I'm only going to get five. So there could be circumstances in this situation going on. So if you, you would be aware of those circumstances, okay? So if there's something um, like they're with someone else or that they're perhaps going through a bit of a difficult time at the moment, that is something that you would be aware of. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's because I am not talking to you. OK, so there are circumstances for some of you guys involved in this situation, which is why it's gone a bit quiet, or gone a, a bit ignoring. Your person is feeling a lot of heartbreak and a lot of pain at the moment. So circumstances around them, things happening in their life, difficulties, feeling betrayal, feeling hurt, feeling pain. It could be perhaps that you guys have had a conflict, conflict. <laughs> That was spirit coming over very weirdly. Co conflict, not conflict. Um, it could be there's been a conflict between you guys, that there's been tension, there's been aggravation, perhaps you're hurt, your person's hurt, and you're both feeling a little bit sad over it all. There is a sense of grieving, a sense of loss here. So they are feeling very, very hurt um, and upset over the situation. 
There seems to be some underlying causes that have happened to create this. It, uh, you know, Spirit just said ignorance is bliss. Um, so maybe they become aware of something that's been going on that circumstance wise they weren't quite aware of before or perhaps you guys have become aware of something either way there is this heaviness and there is this sadness now the person that you're inquiring about is still holding on to the situation and there's still very strong love here and strong memories as well spirit is saying with the two of you kind of moving into a future energy um that seems to feel okay what's the future of these two Yeah, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune, so things kind of breaking away from that stagnancy and you've got messages and communication coming in, which is going to be a lot more stable. So if you are looking for your person to communicate with you, that is an indicator that that ignoring is going to close. It's not going to stay this way. There is going to be messages coming up between you guys and um, things are turning into your favour. OK, so where you've been involved in a cycle of pain and heartache, that is going to come to a close. And as that comes to a close, the new steps in, which is the communication between the two of you. Your person is missing you. They're acting quite stubbornly at the moment, which is why you might not be hearing from them. And um, they're feeling wounded. They're feeling hurt. They're feeling sad. And we know that you guys are as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, but people often only see things from their perspective, not from your perspective. You know, so do remember that it takes two hands to clap, is what I'm saying. Um, so if you do find that you they're only looking at their perspective and not looking at it from yours, kind of be an allowance of that. Just remember, it's just their point of view on things. You are going to hear from them again. They are still holding on to the situation. They are just feeling hurt. And some of this times, like I said, it is circumstantial with some of you guys. And um, for those of you that it isn't, it just feels that there's been a heaviness and a sadness with the connection between the two of you. And that is why they're ignoring you. But there is messages coming through that this relationship will bounce back they are still holding on to the situation with you and there is still great love here perhaps you're going to see them at parties perhaps you're going to be talking to them in friendship groups um but either way this there is messages that are going to come towards you so where you've been worrying about it that maybe you'll never speak again once the dust is settled spirit saying once the dust is settled this communication can come back round. so i'm just going to pull you an oracle card as well as to why are they ignoring you hey um, that's the same one I, I, I will put that one on the side the debt one had that so i'm quite interested to get you a different one why are they ignoring you or the future energy between you guys let's have a look future energy Doo -doo. okay so we have a card of movement coming up so that just uh, signifies everything we said over here with the page of pentacles there is movement coming in from your person it's going to shift the other card that you've got was fire and i just said in deck number one fire is our creativity energy um so you can work a lot i, I spoke about uh carnelian being a crystal in deck number one but deck number two i actually feel that you could work with some candles some flames orange candles would be quite good it creates so when you light your orange candle see the two of you being together or re-communicating and that is just very basic basic magic if you need me for druid ceremonies etc you can just give me a shout and we can have a look at that also readings mr love tarot at gmail.com so it's going to shift and move in your favor um it's just you know it's just a, a, a very sad feeling going on the when's of when it's going to be when is this shifting spirit is saying a two so it could be two weeks two months two days the second of a month or february OK, so that is your mutual timing. If you want to look at individual timings, again, give me a shout at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, with timings on a collective, they can be here or there because it is all of your energies, but they are saying twos. And the number 222 two, two is actually quite significant for all like relationships, rebounding, coming back round. 22nd of February is going to be coming up, 222 two, two, um, and 202. I can't even think what year we are, 2023. So it would be two, 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 and then the three at the end. So there is that energy um, of things shifting. The two, 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 if we add that all up, it symbolizes the lover's card in tarot. Um, so there is a love energy when you start seeing two, two, twos. There's a strong feeling that movement is going to be happening. So watch out for that as well. And that's step number two. Keep your head up, keep your heart strong. Is there one that, that song? Keep your head up, keep your heart strong. You got it. 
All right, guys, uh, drop me a message if you need me. Lots oh, you can DM me on Instagram, Facebook, if it's quicker. Ciao.